Hi everybody, I'm Sam from Python Basics. So, as you can see by the title, what is self? So, all right, I thought I had explained this, but I do not, I have a video of creating a class, but I never really talked about the word self, what it is, why, why, why it is, and what it's doing. So, all right, um, question comes from Discord. So, sorry we've been on that, but it's really been a great place for uh, conversation. So, make sure you're hitting that uh, invitation link down below and making sure you're staying tuned until the end to, well, they'll be right here at the video to see some of the other videos because I think today's 851. So, I cannot believe that. So, thank you guys for being here. So, self. So, all right. Let's just go ahead and bring in the what the actual class that Python is using in the documentation. So, all right, so here's a class. You can look at that. Does not have the init with it, but we can put that in there. There we go. Yeah, we need this. So you have, the question was really self, attribute, and instance. And then if you read the, read the documentation, I'm sure you've seen instantiation. So that's the, the being of the instance. So first, let's look at list. So I want to show you this. All right. We're going to touch on this in just a second. This right there. And then, so here are all the underscore methods, the magic methods, and then here are the other methods. So that is, this is list, that is an empty list, and this is an inst, oh, let's get this in here, list. All right, look at all these selfs, right? Okay. Since this is the object, typically they left this off. Object is the most basic object in Python. But for every time we're talking about an instance, that in and of itself, that is how you handle the information. So I'm about to go, now let's do this because we're going to use X for our new my class over here. List. So. We're used to seeing if you're coming up through the path of you see an information, you assign it to a variable. So I could have, but I could have multiple lists, right? So to differentiate themselves from each other, they are a variable, but they are still a list. So every time you're passing in information, you have to have a way. So if we took X and Y, then I would have my self dot x equals x and self dot y equals y. So I'm taking this information, these variables in, and assigning it to whichever variable in that instance, that self, that specific self for that specific object. Because I just instantiated T. These are both lists, but then they are not the same. They are both different instances of this type of object, which happens to be a list. Uh, T. Boom. Both lists. So now, let's bring this in. I've not run this. So now, let's do x my class, oops, and I took an x and a y. I created this. So now I need to pass it uh, 2 and 3. I did that on a whim, so now. <clears throat> so now, this is hardwired every time. So now here is here is an attribute. So x, oops, get over here, bring this up here. x dot i, 
that attribute x dot uh, x and x dot y. Now, I showed you the understored documentation, right? So check this out: x dot underscore documentation. I get my doc string for my class. So there we go. I hope that helped. Really super great question. So instance, this is initiated. So each instance, I'm instantiating this class object, just like I'm doing up here with my list and my T. Okay, that's what self does to differentiate. So there we go. All right, great question. Thank you so much for the discussion. Please make sure you're hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.